Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, I'm going to attempt to get uh, or set a new record in the uh, Colosseum. So, in the Stone Arena, you guys know in my previous video, we went ahead and checked out the new update. Uh, we didn't really do the best uh, because we only had one Bony Barks. Uh, but today, I actually have two, and I was able to max out my Grawler as well. So, make sure to watch until the end. But, anyways, guys, I hope you all excited. And if you are, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what I need you guys to do, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, make sure to watch that video before you watch this one, uh, because we played the Colosseum and obviously we checked out uh, the new update, you know, the new rules, obviously the bonus uh, for with the elements, but take a look at this guys, or not the elements actually, the books, that's what I meant to say. Um, but if we actually head over to, which might call the monster lab, besides ranking this monster up, obviously now that I have it to 120, this is not basically what I wanted to kind of cover. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him up though, 120, sure, why not? He's finally there, uh, but the most important part is this monster. Now, a lot of you guys, um, I'm not sure if you guys actually know, I actually pointed this out in yesterday's video, but if you actually head over here, look at this. If you tap on the leaderboards, you can actually see what players are actually using. So basically, if you take a look at this, Monster Master is actually first now, um, but take a look at this. You, If you actually use the two monsters here, uh, this is basically the meta right now. One Growler and two Bony Barks, and literally everybody's spamming it. Um, you guys know, normally that's how it is with uh, with the Colosseum. Basically, if, if somebody sees like a specific team working, they're just going to continue spamming it, and then that if like that's the best setup, then everybody's obviously going to use it if they have it. Now, me personally, I didn't actually have two Bony Barks on until today now i'm actually gonna have it just now um, i actually had one at 105 well i do actually at 105 the other ones uh at 100 my 110 growlers actually go into 120 so right now the max amount of damage i've actually done is 7.3 million uh the most you can do is 16 million apparently 16.3 and that is monster master so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm actually going to try and attempt that all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to speed this up and we're gonna go and hatch it up real quick uh there's five hours thank god that's actually pretty pretty nice um so anyways we get three results open that's actually awesome that is exactly what i was actually looking for so here's the monster we're gonna just gonna quickly feed up the monster get it to uh level 90 i was, I was about to say 100 but it's actually level 90 and basically what you want to do is once you get it to level 90 is you want to choose the right skills obviously the most important ones is i guess you could carry the aoe possession with blind i guess that actually comes in handy but the most important ones are this one so you room fall negative status effect you know apply damage boost and there's also this double damage skill this last one can be whatever really it could be the possession or it could be this blind aoe um whichever one you want to actually run i guess i could run the possession one on this one and then when it comes down to runes obviously what you want to do is give in uh, either team strength or I, I guess speed because you want to you want this monster to be faster than growler but growler is going to be running um all which might call it uh strength runes so maybe you can do two te two team strength and one string or one speed sorry uh that would actually work out something like this so two team strength one speed or for now that's what we're going to keep and if we head over to the colosseum actually before we head over to colosseum i do want to head over to adventure map and see what the speed's going to be here with these three monsters selected so here we have growler obviously 120 and then we have one bonnie bark and the next one should be somewhere down here so we have both of them i want to see what this other bonnie bark at. okay so two teams strength and one speed that's exactly what i'm doing yep so it's four three nine three eight so yeah the speed here is actually exactly what i want it to be um and obviously okay so that is why players are keeping this at level 90 because if you keep it at a higher level what it's gonna do is actually uh it's gonna it's gonna increase the speed here but it, but then again what you can do is actually get rid of that level nine speed and give it like a level eight or seven or that that, that would work too um so and we already leveled this monster up to 120, yeah. So I guess we could use what we have here. This would actually work out. But again, if you want, you can uh, swap out that speed with like a level whatever speed. Make sure it's not level 9. But still make sure that she gets in the turn before Growler. But then I feel like if, if we even if we do that, um, I'm not sure how much speed she's going to have if, if it's going to be a higher rank. The reason why I want to have this monster at a higher rank is because of the um, stat increase, especially the life. That's exactly the only thing that I, I'm like really worried about is the life because I'm not sure if he's actually going to survive uh, that. So anyways, so we're going to redo the first one and I'm going to do medium again. Uh, and obviously this time we're going to give rid of this monster. So again, in case you didn't know, the syndicate is actually giving you a one. I think it's I think it's a 1x if I'm not mistaken. You can actually take a look at it in the in the rules from the uh, 
which might call it the actual Colosseum. But what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna run two Nebulans trap so that if, do i even have two nebulans i don't think i do i actually have two two of them but uh, i do need to level it up so what i'll do is i'll quickly level this one up and get it to like actually i don't want to use all of those i'd rather use that for something better so how about we use like diamond so ring actually let's use gold honestly i don't even need these gold i'm just gonna use some of them get it to at least like a level 15 how's that we'll just get it to 15 and yeah we'll just do it to 15 and then with the staff obviously let's go with something that will regenerate stamina master staff is just gonna uh deal damage i don't want that to do that um we can do a can of atlantis actually but now that the uh relics are set up and everything we can actually start this fight and then again what you want to do is you want to do the aoe damage boost so this monster takes in the first turn does the aoe damage boost um and then you don't want to well you can do double the double damage but then you have this monster up here that will actually do double damage so let me see i'm trying to see uh should we do the double damage here do, do, do. sure no but then yeah th there's no point really i guess what you can do is do the possession total blind um and then obviously you need a dark weakness so you go ahead and do your dark weakness there and then these other two monsters are going to take the turns um i'm going to do my double damage um i think what they end up doing here is you can't stack up damage boost obviously so let's just charge up I think he takes him the turn to do his single target attack and then next turn is aoe so let's do single target here to this monster get rid of him do the most damage obviously because it's a heavy the the aoe is actually moderate let's test this uh out real quick so i can't do my um i can't do my single target 100 percent damage boost yet i can i guess what we can do is reset that other damage boost if you want uh, that's up to you but it's already there so i'm not i, I don't even want to bother doing that oh wow no way my monster actually died oh no that's that's crazy we might as well just go ahead and deal the damage then i don't think it was uh more than i was actually expecting uh what is that 5.4 yeah no we didn't do right shall we maybe try the uh hard difficulty maybe that is what it is let's let's try hard difficulty and see how this one actually goes so they're taking in the first turn they're gonna attack do whatever they want oh my gosh okay that those relics are definitely gonna yeah they're gonna destroy me so i can't really do anything against that um that's really unfortunate how much that was that was like 20 tickets all right so that's not gonna work out we're gonna do medium again but i'm trying to see if we do the media or the aoe darkness what if what if we make this monster first like go in for it but it can't though because of how slow it is and obviously we don't want to sacrifice the extra strength rate there um so should we just do the normal but then again it's, it's still going to be the same though so we do this we don't want to do the double damage yet because you can't really stack up those damage boosts. so i'm going to do this and then oh 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 okay you know what i actually know exactly what i'm going to do wait never mind i actually died what are you kidding me wait i have i have another idea but I don't think it's actually going to work out. I'm going to go in again. And what I'll do this time is we'll do the damage boost. And we'll do another damage. Well then, yeah, we'll do another damage boost. And the thing is though, I can't use dark against dark. So that's not going to deal much damage. What if we just do this and get rid of him? So the main threat is gone. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Now, what we can do here is we can do the AoE darkness. Let's do that actually. I'm just going to do the, my dar darkness uh, real quick. So I'm just going to go and charge up. And this monster gets in it too. But then we don't have the laser beam sword boosting up our strength anymore. That's another thing we're going to be sacrificing. So yeah, we just do the... Let's do the double damage. I don't think I have my... Um, what should I call it? Single target? I actually do single target. Okay. So we'll go ahead and deal the damage. 500k. But then again, I, I, don't, I don't think it's enough. <laughs> but we can we can definitely check at the end. So uh, we already have the dark ring. So I'm just going to do this damage boost. And then I'm going to do my other double damage. And he gets in the turn. But then again, he can't really attack. He can only do the AoE. So that's really unfortunate. I'm going to do my double damage again. Again, you can't really uh, stack up these damage boosts. Like, look, I tried, but it won't. So he does have the double damage right now. Or sorry, 200% damage boost. If I were to do this right here real quick and attack 365k let's see what the victory or the bonus is here at the end 6.7 million so i feel like i was i was even doing a lot better in the past um actually why don't we just do what we do normally wait why am i not trying that why, why am i actually not trying this uh so basically what you want to do is you want to do the damage boost uh you can charge up in the beginning if you want actually no then he's gonna attack and, and then get rid of you uh okay so i'm gonna do dark weakness hopefully wait hold on I think I'm actually doomed again. Yeah, I messed up. I, I actually messed up. I, I see that now. I see that. Yep. Um, do we have any more tickets? Okay, we do. This is the last attempt. Why don't we do it like this? Okay. Um, I'm thinking 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What if we do... Because we need to get rid of this monster, right? Um, How about we possess them? We do the damage boost here. And then we possess them. There we go. Total blind. Great. So it won't... It'll miss. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and basically do my dark quickness. They're just going to be forced to charge up or attack. And then they're going to miss. And I'm going to do my double damage. And then there she goes. She goes attacks. Um, I don't really have to do anything here, really. Uh, because I already have my damage boost. And finally, we do the AoE Mutant Rage. I think this is what we were just we should have just done in the beginning. I don't know why I didn't do it. Uh, but this will definitely be a new record here in terms of like damage. Um, so before it was like 7 point something. Now it's 11.4 million. So you guys can see the difference there, right? It actually went up close to uh, Itai, which is actually a player from uh, Team Spirit 2015, my ex team. But anyways, so now uh, with just that first, I guess the second one too, we are in the top 30, which is, I guess, not, not bad, but it could always be better. Um, but just for this first one, I'm actually top six. And again, they're using, so th this one's using a 120. I don't think if that, I don't think that really makes a difference uh, at all. I think it's just the runes, I would say. I think the runes play, play a huge role for sure because I already have my rune guardian active. I guess that, but he's using Noah. So is Noah there for the shield or is Noah part of the, uh, part of this book right here, the Fury Dojo? Because if Noah, Noah is actually part of that, I already, I already have him. No, he's not. So I assume he's just there for, just just to apply the shield i assume right but then yeah there's also means of tortures as well yeah 50 percent shields everybody so could be that but i'm not sure anyways guys um i could actually attempt again in the, in the future uh but you guys can let me know in the comments down below how i can actually try to do more damage um just let me know in the comments down below and i'll go ahead and try it anyways guys i'm gonna wrap it up thank you all for watching i'll see you next one peace out